Butchery is a mod that enhances the harvesting experience of mobs and animals in Minecraft, adding immersion and fun to the process. While you can still simply kill mobs without the mod, installing Butchery introduces the option to use a brand new tool, the Butcher's Knife, to kill mobs. Using the Butcher's Knife on a mob causes the corpse of the mob to drop instead of its original loot. And once you have the corpses, you can begin the butchering process. Corpses can be hung on hooks and drained of blood by cutting them with any knife. When bleeding animals, be sure to place a blood grate below to catch the blood, otherwise, it will spill onto the floor, you can use a sponge to clean up the blood as well. The mod has the compatibility with Farmer's Delight Knives, and all crafting recipes can be viewed with the addition of Just Enough Items mod. If you're tired of the gameplay in Butcher's Delight, you can try this one. This mod two new playable classes to the game, to complement the roleplay experience. Lightning Strike, strikes an enemy target with a lightning bolt that hits three times. Discharge, unleashes a powerful wave of energy that damages all enemies around the caster three times. Thunder Summoning, summons a powerful lightning bolt from the sky that strikes enemy targets in a small area five times. Ancient Soul Summoning, summons a benevolent soul that chases your enemies and deals damage on impact. Soul Release, opens a small hole between dimensions to pour a great amount of soul energy onto your targets. Soul Beam, channels soul energy to blast your enemies with a powerful beam. Too Many Players is a Minecraft client optimization mod designed to boost FPS in crowded environments. It achieves this by offering the option to disable the rendering of players, their armor, and objects in their hands and bodies. This reduction in rendered elements can significantly improve FPS without compromising gameplay clarity. Additionally, the mod includes a hiding areas feature, which dynamically hides elements based on distance to the player, further enhancing performance in high traffic areas. This mod adds a new mob to the game, the Roost. The Roost used to roam the overworld long ago, but now they are mostly extinct. Illagers have figured out a way to hatch them, and you will find Roosts in Roost Rider Outposts. The Roost itself is a fast flightless bird, you can tame the Roost using grubs, since these are its favorite food. The Roosts are very fast birds and never seem to run out of stamina. In addition to this, they can glide through the air for about 10 seconds before falling to the ground. As previously mentioned, the discovery of roosts by the illagers led to a unique development, some illagers mastered the art of riding these creatures. These new, formidable illagers now participate in raids alongside their brethren. Grubs are also used in the making of grub salad, which has some unique uses. Grub salad serves as a type of animal feed with a particularly useful effect, it induces hatching in bird and bird-like animals. This can be beneficial for obtaining roost eggs, but it also works on sniffers and chickens. The whistle can be used to command roosts, allowing you to order them to sit or follow. The feather-like charm is one of the more useful items added by the mod. When held in your hand, it prevents lethal fall damage, with a 30-second cooldown. This mod is an add-in for Cobb Lemon, allowing players to obtain Mega Stones and Mega Evolve their Pokémon. It adds Mega Stones for Generation 1 Pokémon obtainable in Survival Mode, and a Mega Bracelet used for Mega Evolution. Throughout the world, unique geodes are now appearing. These geodes are filled with new building blocks, plenty of evolutionary stones, and even mega stone ore. Every Pokemon included in this mod has been meticulously modeled, textured, and animated in the Cobb Lemon art style. Attention has been given to both Pokemon lore and Minecraft gameplay to ensure a seamless integration. Additionally, both Fabric and Forge versions are available. Creation and Adventure is an exploration, combat, and construction mod that offers a variety of experiences. Explore different biomes, engage in combat with new enemies, and craft new relics to enhance your gameplay. This mod brings a brand new brewing system to the game, allowing players to create fun bars and even breweries. To create ingredients for beer and whiskey, such as dried corn, wheat, or barley, you'll need a drying silo. Collect the corn, wheat, or barley and carefully open the silo hatch with a left click. Deposit the ingredients into the silo, 
which can be connected in a 2x2 or 3x3 grid and extended up to 9 blocks high. Additionally, larger silos have greater capacity and speed up the drying process. After completing the drying process, the next step is brewing. You'll need additional ingredients, typically hops, water, and coal. Coal may seem out of place in beer, but in this process, it serves a different purpose. For example, to brew a normal wheat beer, toss two sacks of dried wheat and some hops into the brew kettle, and just fill it with water. During the brewing process, which lasts several seconds, you need to pay attention to several small events happening at different parts of the brewing station, such as the furnace losing heat and requiring more coal, or the brewing kettle overheating and needing some water to be removed. The brew kettle is larger and consists of several parts, so head to the part with the stove and fire it up with the coal. To cultivate hops, construct a unique setup, erect two fence posts, at least three blocks high, and connect them with a rope, then just plant the hops at the rope's lowest point on farmland. Also, these ropes can serve various purposes, including fencing and railings. You can now find brand new bars in villages, where you can celebrate the beer festival with the villagers. The enticing lederhosen pieces are sold by villagers, and these pieces have a special set effect that grants the wearer immunity to intoxication. Lastly, all blocks in the mod have intricate textures and models, making them great choices for both decorative and functional purposes. Jellyfishing is a delightful inspired by SpongeBob SquarePants, bringing new mechanics, food, resources, and gear to Minecraft. Jellyfishing introduces a variety of jellyfish variants that spawn in the jellyfish fields, a new ocean biome featuring unique materials. Players can catch jellyfish using a jellyfish net and release them. They produce jellyfish jelly by dropping it occasionally, akin to chickens and eggs. Jellyfish jelly serves as a versatile resource in jellyfishing. It can be used as food or to craft items and blocks. The jelly blocks are akin to honey and slime blocks but with enhanced effects. Seanut bushes are a new plant found in the jellyfish fields, growing sea nuts that can be used to craft various items, including sea nut butter. Pineapples are a new jungle native plant, they grow faster on farmland and can be crafted into various decorative blocks. The airsuit is a new set of armor that provides water breathing when the entire set is worn, along with protection from jellyfish stings. Spatulas are a unique weapon type that launches your enemies into the air upon attack. Lastly, bubble wands can be acquired through jellyfishing with plundering or by trading with wandering traders, and they create temporary bubble blocks that burst after 20 seconds. This mod adds a spine-chilling boss to Minecraft, the Pumpkin Scarecrow. To summon it, craft a cursed seed, stack two hay bales with a carved pumpkin atop, then right-click the pumpkin with the cursed seed. This Halloween-themed adversary boasts 200 health and deals 5 to 15 damage, using 7 deadly skills including a swarm of crows that forces constant movement. As its health drops below 100, the Scarecrow ignites, intensifying its aggression. Upon defeat, it drops a spooky pumpkin. The spooky pumpkin is an a-keepable pumpkin that scares surrounding entities when your health dips below 10, cooling down for 400 ticks after use. Vanilla Minecraft structures are often straightforward and predictable. This mod breathes new life into six key structures, adding depth and challenge to your exploration. The revamped loot is rewarding without feeling excessive, and the updated appearance adds a touch of RPG flair to your world. This mod transforms Minecraft into a Souls-like game with hardcore difficulty and exciting battles. It adds lots of Souls-like armors, all of which are animated, and a variety of weapons. Neutral NPC mobs exist, and you can tame them by giving them an Estus Flask item. The monsters are very strong and dangerous, so engaging in head-to-head -head combat with them is likely to result in defeat. Combat requires dodging enemy attacks, making it the only way to win against monsters. Currently, the mod features 10 bosses. All bosses feature impressive attack animations. Don't miss out on this mod if you enjoy Dark Souls or medieval-style gameplay. Simply Sneak is a straightforward yet incredibly handy mod that lets you sneak past mobs without detection. While it's set to Z by default, 
you can easily customize this key binding in the configuration settings. Flight Assistant revolutionizes your Minecraft aviation adventures, offering a sophisticated flight style HUD for effortless navigation. With its autopilot systems, oh, including flight directors and autopilot, and advanced Hold. protections like Hold. stall Terrain. and terrain warning, Flight Assistant ensures a safe and enjoyable flight every time. Stay informed with alerts for low elytra durability and other Hold. unsafe conditions, making your flights Hold. not just exciting but also secure. Pull up! Terrain. Transparent Tooltips is a mod that enhances the user interface by adding a slider to the accessibility settings. This slider allows players to adjust the opacity of the tooltip background when hovering over items in an inventory or certain buttons. This mod is an add-in for mine colonies that introduces a new building style inspired by Byzantine architecture. The Byzantine architectural style, renowned for its grandeur and intricate structures, was prominent in churches and palaces during the Byzantine Empire. Characterized by features such as domes, arches, gilded decoration, and elaborate frescoes. This mod introduces a dynamic new layer to Minecraft gameplay, perfect for faction servers looking for an engaging economic system and fresh objectives. It's designed to enrich player experience with new objectives and rewarding accomplishments, offering a diverse range of bounties from simple tasks like gathering wheat to challenging objectives such as obtaining a skull catalyst. Players earn rewards based on the difficulty of the bounty, fostering a sense of achievement and progression. With an economy based on coins earned through completing bounties, players can participate in trading, bartering, or purchasing items, injecting vitality into the world and encouraging player interaction. This feature facilitates the development of a robust market system, creating a thriving economic environment within the game. The Sweeper mod is an optimization tool designed to improve server performance by automatically cleaning up dropped items in certain entities at regular intervals. These items are collected in a dustbin, which can hold up to 54 items temporarily. Players can access the dustbin by using the Command Sweeper made dustbin and can configure the mod settings, such as cooldown periods, types of entities to sweep, and messages sent to players. Two Simple Blocks is a Minecraft mod that introduces a variety of new building materials to enhance creativity in your builds. Boards and bricks offer a spectrum of colors similar to wool, concrete, and terracotta, expanding your creative possibilities. Notably, it introduces four exclusive colors, adding extra options to your builds. These versatile blocks from Simple Blocks have various uses, such as creating arrows, numbers, symbols, shapes, or even serving as decorative elements for signs. The new glow light in Simple Blocks is a floor-placed light source with a compact hitbox, providing ample illumination without taking up much space. Lastly, Simple Blocks introduces platforms, blocks that are approximately 2.5 blocks in size. This mod focuses on adding new neon-styled blocks to Minecraft. The first version includes 44 new blocks, and each with its own crafting recipe. If you're familiar with Dante's Royal Guard skill from Devil May Cry 5, you'll appreciate this mod's homage to it. By equipping the parry skill and holding the right button at all times, the mod will assist you in defending automatically. Spawn Structures has added two new structures in the latest update. The mod generates a custom structure at your world spawn, complete with a lectern, two chests with Lutra-compatible loot tables, and a bed for respawning players, streamlining the process of protecting or helping new players.
This mod offers a refined take on the horse whistle data pack. When you press H to whistle, your saddled friend will neigh, heightline itself for a few seconds, find its way to come along, and follow you for a while. Furthermore, this mod introduces a new mechanic called spur. When riding, press H to spur your horse, increasing its speed temporarily. This action will slightly injure the horse, but you can spur it twice to make it run even faster, providing two levels of spur speed. Sweetest Horse Armor Tweaks is a small but impactful mod that enhances the functionality of Minecraft's horse armors. Each vanilla horse armor now provides a slight speed and jump height boost to your horses, adding a new dimension to using and outfitting them. This mod does not alter the method of obtaining horse armors, it simply modifies the speed and jump stats of a horse wearing them, offering a subtle yet engaging gameplay enhancement. This is a simple mod that adds double jump, leap, and wall bounce mechanic to Minecraft. The mod enables players to jump higher by pressing shift before a jump, and perform a double jump by pressing shift in the air and then jumping again. This mod brings a collection of iconic paintings to your Minecraft experience, adding an extra layer of aesthetic delight to your world. Whether you're an art aficionado, a history buff, or simply a Minecraft enthusiast, this mod offers a unique and enriching addition to your gaming experience. Sunflower Delight is an enchanting add-in for Farmer's Delight that enhances your Minecraft experience with a variety of sunflower seed products. This add-in introduces new food, ingredients, and drinks, along with blocks for storing sunflower seeds efficiently. This mod introduces a new villager, the friendly illager trader, offering custom trades. You can encounter this villager by finding the new structure or by placing a target block. This mod backports the Cherry Wood set in Cherry Grove biome from Minecraft 1.20 to Minecraft 1.18.2. It includes cherry trees, cherry wood, and other blocks like doors, fences, pressure plates, and more. This mod introduces a drill vehicle that you can ride to easily destroy blocks in Minecraft. You can use them to open the menu and add fuel to the drill vehicle. Use WASD to move and control the drill. Keep in mind that the drill has a pretty low fuel efficiency, so use it wisely. 